Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh, Bah Shem Yahushua, Bah Shem Yahweh. Double honors once again go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders, the great millstone, who rule well and deserve double honors. Salutations also go out to the fellow Akima, doing the highways and byways, pushing this truth with all honesty and sincerity, trying to wake up the remaining people for life. This is Nama with the DC camp. It's lucky. And, um, yeah, I initially did this video and I was unaware of the fact that it had no sound. So, Lockie, I apologize. I'll have to do it all over again. But anyway, the title of this video is Most Corrupt Lyndon Baines Johnson Forgotten History. This is this uh, channel that I watch every now and then. Not as much as I would like to, because we're, you know, going all over the place looking at various videos so it's, sometimes you forget certain sites uh, just for the sheer volume of information that you're taking in you know? so anyway a bit of this I knew but he goes in depth and uh, as you will see it's going to raise a whole lot of new questions, and it might answer the question as to why the Warren Commission, their investigation, I believe it was 50 years, and uh, when they released the report, it was still heavily redacted. <laughs> That's how this devil works, man. Right? So you're going to get some insight into that, and the possibilities, like I say, it's going to raise new questions. All right, like, damn. You know, this, this devil, another thing he, uh, uh, something called plausible deniability, all right, he's big into that, and there was all kinds of what ifs, well, this might have been the reason why he was, you know, uh, what was it, executive order under Kennedy 11-110, which had to do with uh, the Federal Reserve, you know, that was one thing, oh man, Evan, but when you look at this, you may rethink just what the hell went on. Alright, so let's go ahead and roll this. Real quick, I keep forgetting to do this, but I got to because this is someone else's work, which I do not intend to profit off of. It's just being used but I have to read this disclaimer. This is Fair Use Act Disclaimer. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All right. So now we can go ahead and roll this. I'm going to try to let as much of it play so you can get full effect of it. Uh, and here and now, well, let me just get these two scriptures out. One in the Old Testament and one in the New. Alright. So we're going to go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. The very last verse it says, For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Alright. Let's go on to the New Testament. Let's get Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Alright? So let's keep that in mind as this plays. And leave some dirty, rotten scoundrels for I tell you. <laughs> Just a good old boy, right?
Svaki. Now it has to be noted here that his wife is an Amalekite, a so-called Jew. All right, and speculation that also is that he was a what they call a crypto. All right. Listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> Fraud. That's part of that stolen valor argument, all right? Even though he was in the military. But still, mm -hmm. I remember, was it 1997 or 1998, here in D.C. at the Navy Yard, there was a... Let's see, was he a rear admiral or a vice admiral? Two star or three star, I can't remember, but he was being investigated for a ribbon he wore, which was the Combat V, Vietnam. Well, it turns out, as they reported, he didn't deserve that. So this dang fool blew his brains out over there at the Navy Yard. But in this, this was, you know, we. The way I'm seeing this, this guy might have been set up all along. All right, remember his, with his wife. All right, being, you know, <laughs> of those people, and possibly he himself. All right, uh, because, well, let's just—I don't want to jump too far. Continuing. All those veterans, they love that shit. And these stupid Americans, they love that shit. You know, rah, 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 yeah. We gonna vote for him. He's a combat veteran. He's a real American. Mm -hmm.
His own sister, mind you. Wait till you see what this motherfucker did. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is this whole system is corrupt, and they have Jake just into this. All right. Uh, again, I don't want to jump ahead, but of all the people that have been the most loyal, especially when it comes to a certain party, Democrats. You get nothing, absolutely nothing done for your people. 
but you're consistently on that plantation. And he is the one that made that combat, I mean that combat, that comment about he would have niggers voting Democratic for the next 200 years. It's been 60 now. Uh, November 22nd will be 60 years since he, you know, has been the top, had been, uh, since he took the oath and Kennedy was assassinated. All right. So, <sighs> continuing on. Sam Giancana. Listen to this. Who? 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 <laughs> Again, to you stupid ass Negroes. Whose idol was this? Joe Biden. Look it up. This is Joe Biden's idol right here. The late. West Virginia Senator Robert Byrd. Also, Strom Thurmond. And you made such a big deal about Trump. Why? Because that strategy of the Democrats will work on you simple motherfuckers. If the Republicans get in office, it's going to be the end. They're going to take back all those programs that we, you know, all that bullshit. And you, you believe it.
Yes. They, they knew exactly what they were doing. Salaki, Salaki. Again, this is what they wanted. You know, you heard that, right? And there's a scripture on that. This devil doesn't do anything good. You know, it says if he does any good, it's, you know, paraphrasing. It's by accident. All right. Uh, the phrase political optics, that's perfect. You know, give the appearance, and that's what they do. All right. No. Me personally, I also, I always thought that was strategy on their parts because he was a good lit litigator on behalf of, uh, you know, Jake, uh, you know, after Brown v. Board of Education in 54, you know, I believe he served as Solicitor General for a while, you know, that was to kind of get him, remove him from the, uh, the battlefield more or less. Yes. It always comes back to us. <laughs> yep. Listen. Listen to this. Yes, yes, false flag. Mm. Remember Dwight Eisenhower's speech as he was leaving office and he warned against the military industrial complex which includes <laughs> what we're hearing right here. All right, motherfuckers that hold office, that have stock, all right, and all these companies that manufacture, in this case, instruments of war. What do you think they're gonna be pushing for? Hmm, war. <laughs>
both sides. Wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it one bit. Another reason why Kennedy had to go. All right, because he was against it. He did not want to, but you just heard. Motivation, a motivating factor for this motherfucker was he owned stock. Him and his wife. And all these people that, again, rah, 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 rah. America, God bless America. And went over there and got either killed, maimed, or all fucked up in the head. All because of motherfuckers like this. No wonder Henry Kissinger made that comment about soldiers being dumb animals. How much was this motherfucker worth? And adjust it, adjust it for today, a fucking billionaire. Nine bodies. Not to mention all those that went overseas. You know, I think it's 58,500 and something. All right. Bloody man, the bloody man. What? 18, and they all died. <laughs> Listen to the odds of this. Listen to the odds of this happening.
you go. Remember what I said earlier? <laughs> How convenient. Odds wall was a patsy. Yep, several. There you go. He's right, you got several. All right. But our people still worship this process. All right low down dirty evil wicked pieces of shit remember the earth is given to the hands of the wicked Job 9 and 24 and they are still ruling so at the end of the day this motherfucker was doing what the bankers told him to do that's why again Kennedy had to go now of course they rely also on what is it called? Um, uh, um, damn it, I can't remember the, uh, the, the phrase now. Oh, probable, um, damn it. Um, because you got uh, certain things to pick from. All right, you got um, Kennedy's trying to uh, disrupt the Federal Reserve with Executive Order 11110, all right, which still might have played a role in ultimately him being removed violently, and that's another thing. You want to send a message in doing something like that. You want it public, and you want it brutal, all right, and I'm sure everyone's seen the Zabruder tapes, all right, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was pretty brutal. But, uh, yeah, again, what, it, what was his quote? He wanted to ensure that the black vote, as far as the Democrats, would be secured, what he thought was forever. And look at Jake. They can't see past the Democrats. How many times is that bitten them in the ass, especially this last go around? I just told you, one of his idols, talking about Biden, is the ex, the late ex Klansman, Senator Robert Byrd. And Strom Thurmond. But we're going to focus on Byrd because with Strom Thurmond, at least, you know, he fathered a you understand, we understand the nature of uh, lineage, genealogy, uh, a so-called black woman, but we know that she is a product of him, so she was, unless in somewhere in his lineage, that he might be a check, you know, that's how this stuff works, but on appearance, she would look like a, a black woman, and it was not until in her late 70s that she came forth after he died, she waited. She had respect, again, for her father, just putting that out there, all right, because he took care of her, you know, give him his props for that, but this bird motherfucker, mm -hmm. all right, uh, anyway, so, mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure that, um, 
again, I was unaware that my last video on this topic did not have any sound. So, once again, so lock I apologize. And I hope whoever views this video, of course, is, again, edified. All right. Uh, of course, again, this is from what happened, uh, the wickedness that happened back then, but it has an effect on what's going on now. That's why we do these videos, all right, because it still affects our people, as I'm hoping you will see. All right, these things were put in place back then as he thought that the things that he did you know <laughs> theoretically that he did for our people would ensure alright winning the hearts and minds alright and look what it's done we have never gotten anything exclusively for our people and we are in and they know this again welfare well it's more of his people on welfare like you're doing us a favor. The and there is a speech that it was just brought out. I almost forgot. I couldn't didn't think about it until now to try to pull it up. People are my age and older saying they never heard him the speech. I'm trying to find it again. But uh, I thought I saved it and downloaded it. But it's he's talking about uh, how the black man so called got screwed over. You know, now again, I always say they knew this because it was a plan of theirs. All right. Um, yeah. Again, you have to understand this is directed at our people that we are enemy, enemy number one, numero uno. All right. Always have been, always will. That's why we pray that this place be gone away. This is mindset you have to be in. Fuck this place. 2 Peter 3, 10 and 11, all right? You're knowing this place is going to get... What do you think all these things, these events happening, all right? For those of you that don't believe, well, again, you're blind because all these events that are taking place are building up to Ezekiel 38, chapter 39, all right? The things that are happening now, Revelation 16, chapter 3, all right? These... Angels are working on the minds of these leaders. All right, it's about to kick off. So, with that, uh, once again, I hope the reviews is edified as usual. We take events and filter them through the scriptures, so you know what the hell that's, you know what's going on around you. Hopefully, you're paying attention. Hey, so with that, shalom.